Hello, this is Rachel from thehealthywing.com and this is Wing Cubes and today I'm talking about PCOS or PCOS, um, mood swings, anxiety and depression. So I know this is a huge issue for many women with PCOS and um, I've actually seen some really interesting research lately and I first came across it and I recommend you listen to this, there's the Underground Wellness Podcast um, and they had the depression sessions and there was a really, really interesting session with Dr. Kelly Brogan, who's an American psychiatrist, so she's a real medical doctor and she was actually looking at depression and anxiety and she's got a fabulous website so you know look up Kelly Brogan MD um, she was looking at the serotonin model of depression and loads of people when they think depression and they look at serotonin they're given um, various medications to help with that and gut healing protocols all that's great but what she was looking at was the cytokine model of depression which was really fascinating and made my ears prick up because cytokines are all to do with inflammation um, so she was looking at how essentially inflammation affects depression and anxiety interestingly um, PCOS symptoms are improved when you remove inflammatory foods so the basic inflammatory foods that I recommend everyone tries eliminating and in an elimination diet and seeing how your symptoms change are soy, dairy, gluten and refined sugars. So it was really interesting to me to hear her talk about how inflammation can make a difference and interestingly a lot of medications that help with depression also reduce inflammation in the body. So first of all that was really interesting to me. So, if you want to hear um, those recordings firsthand, as I said, if you go to Underground Wellness Podcasts um, and look out for Kelly Brogan um, and also go to her website, I strongly recommend reading through and seeing what you think of the literature and the data. But she does make a really compelling case. Um, and doing an elimination diet is not harmful if you are eating the right nutrients such as lots of vegetables and plant-based foods um, and getting good quality fats and proteins in there so if you're not sure what to do find yourself a health coach that can walk through it with you or a nutritionist or a naturopathic doctor that can go through an elimination diet with you so that's the first thing um, I wanted to clear and interestingly enough my clients who have cleared up their PCOS through you know eating lower GI foods which also means taking out um, dairy and gluten and they've taken out soy as well um, all of them have found that their depressive and anxiety symptoms have dramatically improved so the other thing I wanted to talk to you about was um, other symptoms such as mood swings and PMS and one of the biggest causes of PMS is something called estrogen dominance um, but essentially I've noticed that women who sort of are a bit naughty in their luteal phase, so that's the after ovulation phase before you have the period, so the time when PMS happens, if you cheat with your diet and have something a bit naughty then you're more likely to get PMS. Um, and as, as I said, there's, that's just something I've noticed amongst um, my clients and speaking to other people I've noticed it's quite common, so if you're going to eat naughty foods <laughs> Do it between um, your period and ovulation since your body seems to be able to handle it better. But if you are prone to these kind of things, again, think about the um, estrogenic foods because it's usually caused by estrogen dominance. So things such as soy and dairy are um, hormonally active foods and soy is a xenoestrogen, which means it acts similarly to estrogen does in your body and really up your fibre because removing the estrogen out your body is the way to sort of make sure that you're using it as you should so you should use it once, your liver should break it down, you should excrete it if your liver isn't breaking it down in time it will recirculate if you're not regularly going to the toilet um, you can reabsorb it through the large intestine 
So really, really consider your cruciferous veggies, green leafy veggies, and all the really good nourishing vegetables that aren't too starchy. So anything green or even just brightly coloured vegetables can really, really, really help with this. So I hope that's put a different perspective on things. Um, if you are suffering from severe depression or anxiety, you should absolutely see your doctor. Um, I'm not saying you shouldn't. And if you do decide to try and manage your symptoms through diet, again, I recommend doing it with your doctor's supervision and letting them know that that's what you're doing. If you're on medication, you should never come off medication without chatting to your doctor first. But I do find um, all this really interesting and it is amazing how diet can really help with all these symptoms. So it's worth a try, especially if you are really suffering and you don't want to go on to um, antidepressants or anything like that. So I hope you found that useful. Uh, if you want to find out more about me, my website is www.thehealthywomb.com and I've also got other videos on um, YouTube on my womb tube channel.